Hello everybody, Neil here from the Four Corners and welcome to a Ninjago Season 13 Information and Theory video. In today's video, we'll be looking at some new possible episode names for Season 13 and this comes from a gamebook that used to be in Russian and when it was in Russian, we got some ninja stories out of it and if you want to get caught up on that, you can click the card at the end of this video. But now that it's in English, the gamebook tells us how to play a Ninjago style Dungeons and Dragons game. And in this Dungeons and Dragons game, you can play four different adventures. And in these adventures, you get really intricate stories. And I don't know if these stories are heavily based on Season 13 or if they're very loosely based off of Season 13 and they're altered a lot to match the game style. But let's talk about each of the adventures names because they look like episode names. So if you get a square, you have to play the Day of the Dragon adventure, and if this sounds familiar, well, Day of the Dragon was an episode from Season 4, so this makes me pretty suspicious that this episode name won't actually make it to the season because Day of the Dragon is already a pre-existing name. I don't think they'd copy and paste like that. If you get a triangle, you have Dungeon of Danger, which isn't really much to think about because we already know that the ninja are going into the dungeons of Shitaro, and we know that they'll be in some type of danger, so there's really nothing to talk about there. If you get a circle, you get Tomb of the Awakened. This is the real interesting one because Tomb of the Awakened is referring to the Awakened Warriors. If you don't know who they are, the Awakened Warriors are the black skeletons with glowing green eyes. And Tomb of the Awakened could mean that the Awakened Warriors are inanimate objects. The Skull Searcher comes in, makes some magic, and the Awakened Warriors have risen. So that's a pretty cool name and we'll see if that makes it into the season as an episode name. And the last one is Choices, which I think by far is the most interesting, because if the ninja aren't actually in a board game, but instead they're in a Dungeons of Dragon style game, then they won't be able to make a lot of choices themselves. They'll only be able to make pre-existing choices. You'll either be able to do this or this, so they'll only have choices to do that. So it'll be cool if the ninja will actually have to be forced to follow along with the story and make minor choices here and there, and I'd like to see if the season actually ends up being like that, or if the ninja are more independent than what you would be in a Dungeons of Dragon style game. Anyways, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.